have every bit of information. I know their strap book inside out. Looks like we're going for the B execution here. A couple of smokes, three flashbangs by Nico. He is looking to deny absolutely everything here. CT flash will be coming for momentarily, and Ooh. the first bit of contact has been found. Yeah, but it's a bait and switch, and Immort is good on the first. Look, first Kovac down, yeah. Hooksy gone, only Nico left. Then Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt. The B side's yours, I believe is how the saying goes. I believe so, and unfortunately, that is going to be two players remaining, and that should be round done. They might even have to consider saving the armor and Julie's here. There's a smoke there as well. I don't like that a little bit. It's difficult for CTs to get any early control, like early aggression. It's very difficult to take those fights, like mid, dark. You're, they're all uncomfortable. Let me tell you, though, Eternal Fire, they've got some really cool tricks up their sleeve. They've got stack nades on every single map now, including Anubis. You'll see them when they throw the stack nades. For the CTs early, but... So far, we have Fast. found a lot of teams. Yeah, it depends on the team, uh, how far they can get. JKS is quite the anchor, safe from the flash, and a second on the cards. That's two for the A anchor, and now rotates are in. So is Eternal Fire. Nico yet to frag. It's Immor's responsibility to clear up Heaven's side as that smoke starts to fade. Big fight for Hooksy here. Immor, perfect. Strikes, backs a turn. No, he gets no. a second as well. Nico unprepared. Oh. As I said, they haven't even planted yet. They're forcing the issue for those smokes. If they lost the man advantage, three versus two. Monesty with the AWP and Hunter, he's got the kit and the aim, it seems. Great shot towards Antares. Yeah, Brings it back to an even kill. Need another. Immor still on a heater. Four. This could be the ace from Immor. You talk about the individuals. Eternal fire. Looking flamey. That's brilliant. An that's ace. A, that's a round of applause right yeah, there. That's the AWP of the team stepping up with an ace. Uh, not bad at all. They have no real utility to execute towards A now. 30 seconds. They're going to start being pushed by JKS, who's reading this perfectly. Should be the first G2 round here. Yeah, should. Certainly with a frag like this. That's the bomb carrier. x flower down. And yeah, likely the round as well. They're lost in limbo. Nico pushes. He's pushed the limit of that. Is fine, isn't it? 10. I mean, you're not even going to get through the first fight. Hoopsie. Delays them. Good tam damage. And a round victorious. Well, we are going. calling Zantares after the last event. The Turkish Terminator. I like it. We're having a lot of fun with that. Or the Turkish Talisman as well. We're trying to come up with all different sorts of things. But... That one he's not going to pull off, causes a bit of damage towards the end. One guy from Eternal Fire down and Nico shoots him, so he gets that first kill yep. of the game. Get the so he pumping. gets into the game because he couldn't even get the oh, kill in the back. Nose go towards just, it. just for star points. <laughs> so G2 not going to let that be acquired for free. If, you, if they throw the exec without clearing, that's the clear, that's the flash, and that's the frag. It's JKS, good for one. Traded out and wow. sticking around. Monacy, even though the low HP, he's bounding around looking for multi frag. And they're scared of him. Eternal Fire genuinely perplexed as they try and break through. Now the, the rotation's in. And Monacy still looking at all the right places. The moving, the shaking. It's perfect from Monacy. Just locking down this site. Another one for Monacy. One by one, they fall. Triple in total. And Zantares, yeah, he's got his tail between his legs. I don't know. These are the situations he flies in. First kill Monacy though with four in total. Lovely little setup played there as well. Oh, Hooksy, I like that. Um, we had uh, holding the angle with the AWP. JKS has got the nade for this. Oh, a little late, but right idea. Here we go. And JKS has got a lot on his plate, <laughs> especially with a long range Mac 10 out of Major. What is that? Looking for, for, to discuss a boost, any sort of vision they can find is minimal. And Major even has the presence of mind to crouch. Good, Good one job. back. Hooksy's coming in from the flank. Not going to be the easiest to hold on to. Fortunately, no nades on the T side, so this should be a G2 round, but they're presenting aggression here and trading out kills, upgrading Ooh. their weapons. Back and forth, we go the man advantage and then some as they comfortably close things out. So sure, Eternal Fire did get the initial kill, but this had nothing to hold on to the bomb side. We have taken down. He drops down now. He probably catches at least one. That's unfortunate, but still his advantage. He can maybe even deny the plan here. Yeah, it's all about that trigger discipline, making that choice. x -Flow. he's just awful, safe, he's safe, but in more, a free frag, looking to double up, quick one out of x -Flowed. Quite messy not to have anyone watching DARP, at least the bomb is down at three on three, it's a winnable situation. Nico, hoping for the flashbang to come through, because he's bringing now, and that should be it. That's a great shot, low HP on these last two players, and then Zantaras, he'll have to step up, there's any chance, three on one, he can win these, but okay. can't quite find the reload. Uh, that was a surpri surprise, JKS is like swinging on, if they could just Here I come. while the defuse comes, a little bit unfortunate for Hunter, but you can see I love those little details. I'm going to steal that one, put that in my pocket for later, yeah. thank you. This is the nice flash lineup to get them in, and well, they got two to receive, ooh, oh, it's Hooksy. 
returns the favor to Zantares, needs this onto Kalix and mission accomplished. Big kills there for Luxy. Had to land those, and it's going to be a clean finish as well. Three in total for the in-game leader as they take the lead. Now this is alarm bells, as we said, very much a T-sided map. Unfortunately, though, T-side just have a couple of flashbangs left. Hooksy, another prime position. Surely going to get cleared. I mean, he needs Nico now, and he's just arrived in time as Kalix comes for the clear. It's one from Hooksy. Nico silent, and a nade should finish the job, if not for the bullets of x Floud. now. Awkward. Monacy, you said he hasn't missed much. He has looked like he's using the easiest gun in the game. He is the guy that makes it look like the easiest gun in the game. Oh, again, that corner bests him, but he gets the bomb down all the same. Trade. Unavailable, nearly pinches his Brave bottom. Maneuver. <laughs> Just jumps across. Well, it's okay. worked out for him. Two on two. Of course, they have kits, and Monacy is forcing the issue. Finally, he does miss, but JKS will strike back. Zantara is so low, he can get away with these, but he's been pinned into a corner. He needs Monacy first. Somehow, he needs to find that first frag onto the healthiest member. JKS, 10 HP. Monacy jumps across, what? and that'll do, I guess. <laughs> uh, over to Yanko for the breakdown. What? They didn't even time the defuse, did they? Yeah, this is going to be a duo to Bray. Oh, oh you boy. Is that hate, things you hate to see. That's clumsy. Fumble the booze, loud step, re smoke, Look, and hunter with an A. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. what you get. Run away if you make that sort of footstep. Oh, the punishment. You could tell Good on the player Lord. cam, he was talking. Like when, when you saw the mid-jump, yeah. he was talking, so he knew it. Karma is real. You've got to just accept that one and say, well, we've messed this up, fall back. That's we, why you and I have done that before. Yeah. Got, move, no, fall back. No, yeah, no. We've definitely done that that's before. That's why they should have bought Hunter, but I just did a terrible job of trying to sell him. Yeah, that's true. It's true. You did do a terrible job, yeah. Who won that? Was it Harry? Uh, yes. Yeah, because he was just... He bought the, He bought Brown though. He, he brought, brought he brown knows his way into it. Yeah, I didn't like that. That's a yellow card if you ask me, but my God, this guy keeps on delivering. That must be 20 frags by now. Or 18. Dry peeking you, right? And the adjustments take time for eternal fire because the plans are so set. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. I, just snuck in, though. I like that he's used this smoke so effectively. Monacy was. Oh. Yeah. And is covered by Nico. And they are going to concede That's the right. site. You can see there was indecision yeah. between Hooksy and Hunter. They were in spawn, swapping sides, then both go back to it. Now, Nico is on the fastest flanks, and that's Kalix clothesline. Did not see that one coming. Four on the side. Pushing into Hunter. Perfect. Play off the flash. It could and should be both of them. Hooksy scarpering. Just looking to survive at this point. They're going to ring around the rosy. x Flower chose face in CT. In the meantime, Immor has just been Yo. isolated. Monacy's handing out haircuts. <laughs> Watch out, lads. Okay, Pain Train arrives, pulls into the station, and there's nothing for x Flower to do. Well... Morale's going to be low now. That's nine rounds in a row after a 5-0 lead. What the hell has gone on here? And I think Yanko's dead on. Weird shot that's a bit suspicious. It doesn't seem G2 are going to bite, though. So it is all a pretty weak on pick. one man. He keeps giving an easy shot here. If he gets it again, he got a problem. So the bomb. Oh, and he gets away. Throws himself a smoke. He's here to play. <laughs> Monacy, go on. He take them all, mate. He's knocked the shoes off of him all. This is the follow-up. My goodness. <laughs> Look at the HP. He's They've been just... absolutely wrecked here. But it's the first winnable round they've had at this point. Oh. But Hunter with the boost above the smoke and more didn't see it coming. Zantares and Major, the dastardly duo, trying to hold on to this final round here. But no saving here. Zantares strikes to open things up. In-game leader remains up against Hooksy and Hunter. Will it really be 10 rounds in a row for G2? Can Major break their silence at the end of the half? Hunter v Major and it's Hunter who reigns supreme 10 in a row for the G2 defense. And we talked about the prowess of the attacking side of Anubis. Well, they better step up their defensive game, otherwise Eternal Fire's pick is only going one way. G2 now with the wind in their sails, going for a fast A play here. The flashbang delayed up to Boyd early and the Molotov as well. Down to Amor's Julie's the gunslinger, oh. and he gets the first, can't light them up. Uh, equal trade comes in for now. It's gonna get messy, very quick, back and forth. You can see constant flurry of frags. It's x Floud that does manage to beat the difference maker, a double from him in the exchange. Now they're all there. Yeah, okay, Monacy, you're great. Are you 1v3 oh, great on. already? Look at his first shot. Burrowed into the skull of x Floud. now quaking in his boots. And Torres, give this man an inch. He'll take the mile. He could take the clutch. He's got 70 seconds. Go easy now as the palms get sweaty for Kalix. Oh dear, he's doing it! Monacy just dancing around the pillar. Kalix <laughs> holds his nerve in the face of a demigod. That was nearly madness. That it's a 50-50, you know, but it seems oh, can that... I, still I, opinion as well? I, yeah. I disagree with that. Okay. I, I don't think so. I think obviously there's a bit of a random element. Oh wait, 
Hang on. What's how happening? About, how's that for a random element, Yanko? How's that for a <laughs> random see, element? It's not random at all. One flash is all it takes. Oh. $200, Alex. Oh, and then he gets... That's such a shame. I looked away from the screen for one second. They can still win this technically, but it's going to be very difficult. They've got no armor bear in mind, so we'll have to come in right here, right now. A double kill required, <gasps> and x Flown has fired it. It's going to be two on two for now. They can smoke off main entrance. That might There's be enough. Both, both players are there. They site. have to go for the defuse right now. Get on site, somebody. Now, the smoke is up. It won't be for forever. They'll fake it out. They're hoping for the boost. Nico and Hunter, the cousins, nade there. Taste of his own medicine, perhaps. Just needs to get them off. Oh, oh, that, that is beautiful. <laughs> G2 convert with nothing in their pockets and they still walk into B. The oh. whole watch tower. And more will be there, but he's only got what, an M4 up against Nico. He's going to challenge him any second. It's a decent angle with the flashbang. At least gives him the information here. Good job, but the trade for oh. now. Back and forth we go. Bomb drops. Antara has already been legged at the start of the round. He'll get one as well. Kalex and X Flower rotating in from the B bomb site. Very nice open plan here, Two as you smokes. see, the rotate from the connector. Yeah, going to go through it, looking the wrong way. Monacy going to perhaps be caught out by this one as he just gets his crosshair. Bang on the money, just in time. I thought he was dead to rights. Looking the wrong way. Doesn't matter. It's not fair, Alex. And look at Major pushing Got to do something, a. I suppose. He might have slipped the net here. JKS won't be aware of it. This oh. is big. That, this corner on the right is very powerful. No. He's done well with that one, hasn't he? Major, quite the opposite of that. In fact, the nade even catches X down. Jeez, that's perfect. And Hooksy's already walking in. What? He's puffing up his chest and taking a leisurely stroll. Caught off guard. I think he was looking at the wrong screen. And that's the end of Monacy as well. G2 looking human in this one as Kalix looks a little robotic in his execution with Calyx that deagle. Though, surely. You yeah. don't need to well, pick that, my let's friend. Let's be cool, man. Be cool. Be cool. <laughs> He's on for. You had the bomb. A Please. round performance here. Three could be four. Smoke as well. Have you smoked this off now? It's done. You missed the op shot, it might not be. Good job. All right, first sign of life here. And there is an adventure on its way, Major, with an AWP on the tight line, but Monacy, half of his Whoa. age and poof, beheads him. Major pulled the trigger first though. And Hunter, Hunter is hunting. Yeah, he's got a very good timing here. It's not ideal to lose Monacy, but there is perhaps a gap here for Hunter to do something absurd. Back turn, double spray, Hunter executes the A defense. X Flower does hold on just enough to keep the round interesting. Bomb miles away, JKS quite the contrary. He's already knocking on the main door and they're gonna be partnering up. JKS, I think he heard a step. I heard a lot of communication there from the G2 camp and Jack Alex does have the element of surprise, finds lethality eventually and Nico's known. Needs to hit the headshot. Kalix solid for the double. And we will start to see a bit of a second half established. Again, they get Hooksy established into dark, but this time the pressure's gonna be much more front-loaded. JKS walking on in, looking to demand respect, gets a bullet between the eyes instead, and Major does the same. Hooksy down, Hunter, Nico fighting in, not giving up without a fight. There's still one on the back of the site. It's Kalix hiding behind the smoke. Nico coming very loudly through it. And that really gets awkward for Monacy. Here we go. Orp on Orp action, boys. 1v2 goes one on one. He's playing cruel games, walking on in. And Monacy, he's so set. He just plays this game in a different dimension than everyone else. Critique Monacy too much at the moment. Um, looking like a superhero in a professional match of Counter-Strike. Oh, aggression, aggression rewarded. And just as we talk about his superhero qualities, he looks human. Let's well, that one go. It is a huge frag, but Nico pulls one back. It's up to JKS, almost certainly gets this one major. Oversteps the mark and Hunter is behind enemy lines here. Zantaros is almost certainly dead. There's nothing he can do. He has no idea. Good game. No, he's going to get both. Oh. oh, he knows. He wants the double. He wants the double. Hunter. Oh, the rage inducing <laughs> double. Back to back rounds as well in oh, the previous. Doesn't feel good. No, sir. No, sir. And in fact, this hurts as well because X Cloud's not going to clear. 16 to 9, baby. G2. That was Anubis, that was the curveball, that was an attempt to try and take a pop at the champs. Yeah, and as we said, coming into this one, that was a must-win map for Eternal Fire as well. They just didn't turn up after going up 5-0 and winning the second half pistol as well. Just didn't really find any gun rounds. And eyes on the ground and eyes on the prize into ramp. A very innovative pistol from Hunter. <laughs> Rush yeah. ramp. Yeah, it's gotten them this far. X-Floud is oh, going to struggle to track those bounding 
TTs and stampeding into the stack. Oh, Hunter quick to execute one. And it's JKS with a mop and bucket to seal the deal. Well, it's not just Rush Ramp. It was Breakdoor and Molly Ventus. That's very important addition. Okay. <laughs> this is something when I was watching some G2 games just in Katowice. When JKS had good spawns on the T side, can't get over Amor being the primary sniper. Is anyone else still stuck on that or is it just me? I'm starting to uh, grow accustomed to it. You're rocking okay. that scout and oh, popping oh, head. Oh, shut up. There you go, Monacy. <laughs> forced to watch and it's Immor. Yeah, they're going to juggle weapons and oh, a little loud oh, than no. ideal. And this is Nico we're talking about. With just a FAMAS, Zantares going to hope for his teammates to bait. And that's the switch. Perfect work from Zantares. Makes the best of a bad situation. And now it's actually G2 that might not be able to convert their pistol round win. They tried to make a movement over towards round with that flash, but nothing. This is looking good. They should have it. Oh, and they will now. Major just on that slither. Gap taps the head of JKS. And that's Hunter now in to a 2v4. Why get 1v4? And already tagged up by the scout. Oh, that's flawless. As eternal fire. Perfect writing of the ship and writing of the wrongs of that first round. Just a touch of the key. That just sucks. touches D and dead. Now down the vents instead. Okay, well, this is an investment from G2. They're looking bomb to is down. get that bomb planted. Oh my God, x Cloud. Yeah, he's going to be thinking twice about re-peaking as Imor has already been met by Nico's Deagle in Yard. The Observer's going to have an aneurysm trying to keep track of all the action now. Oh, oh. <laughs> why are they giving him that? <laughs> Leave him alone. Go somewhere else, because Nico's dig again. Lethal. He's going to keep their save. Certainly feeling a little bit high pressured. He is playing this so well. Yeah, he's got the info as well. They lose it all. And the, I mean, the high celebrations of the previous wiped clean. A gamble stack, Leighton, right? Like something along those lines. And this, this is, is Zeus gangster. here. Yeah, this is very typical. Just knowing you're against an eco ah! and there's ah! a Zeus. Happy to see him or the first Zeus of EPL so season 17. There you go. He can put that one under his back pocket. That's something to take on. Oh, there was one on the day. beach stream. Oh. Oh. Either so. And look at this, right? And look at the lack of nades on, on Major. Look at the lack of nades on X Cloud. There's no kit either, right? Was it worth it to, to spend all the money in that round? Honestly, going to be boosted up off the break, off the rip. They've been having tough time in Yard, and there's another G2 success. Will be smoked off for now. Calyx might want to try and get a move on. Cloud's going to lose a lot of vision on that one. And save, yes, man. save. If you can. I mean, you don't have any room. But how, do you, how can a guy die credit card and they just get B sides? Like, where's the rotation from the CTs in this oh. round? <laughs> Hunter nearly gets them all comfortable. But tonight, after we're done, right, we'll be hanging around, we'll be chilling on the couch, we'll be having a, a longer talk. Hell yeah, I'm looking forward. Man, this day one has been awesome. I had a lot of fun today. I hope yeah, the true. It's gone really quick. No, but like, let's get back to this, right? Bro, you told me he can be anywhere. Right. So just subverting You're not helping that. me at this point. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a combination of conditioning and subverting expectation as Nico's coming. And Hooksy is too. Kalex falls. The hands of Hooksy. There is one chance go. for a Zeus. He's going to go again. two for two. Oh, even Hunter falls foul. The Zeus expert and more. Not only an AWPA. This yeah. is dangerous. It is. Monacy shouldn't and doesn't have the advantage. JKS will trade. Keeps G2's advantage. It's Hooksy that will secure it. And yeah, you're looking at Zantara's there. He's, he, he's heard Nico, so advantage perhaps for Zantara. I say oh, that. Oh, 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 four by three. Oh, Nico, no idea. And G2's reaction is just run in and plant. No worries, get the weapon. He's going to have to be fanning around with that. 10 second defuse, so he does have to be quite quick on that first find. And it's JKS in a head-to-head -head duel. And shot baited. Nice adjustments. And Tarez, good to find Hooksy, but unable to find that final frag. JKS. Good damage. Uh, we are including three online nukes that just went down uh, for the close qualifier. Uh, for the major. Speaking of major, a minor impact from him. And Calix, a lot more from him. That 5 7 farms two headshots, and maybe JKS is unprepared. It's Calix raining down hellfire from above. And they are loving that, trying to get the troops motivated. And you can't, I can't blame them. Imor, not going to be rotated off, but the boost, is he pre aiming it? He is. Perfectly placed crosshair, Imor. Deals with the test from G2, coming more towards the ramp location. Imor sticking around for the double. And it's Hooksy 
with the pressure maintained. He's actually going to find himself the upgrade and a smoke for good measure. So they know JKS is here. They, they have, have responded. And Moore's not even looking. He's running into the site backwards. I don't think he knows JKS is down here. He was so loud about it. He definitely made the, the gadoosh noise yeah. as he descended down the, the vent. Noise? The gadoosh. That's the official terminology. Oh, they one made it for him. Okay, stolen one back, but look at the HP 20 between Nico and Hooksy combined. And I don't think JKS is like, guys, he was noisy. Yeah. Like, he surely he knows. I think he's actually confused because he's expecting someone to come clear him. Now, Imor, perfect weapon for the job. I mean, JKS. The door's is open. Oh what? dear, raised in a barn was Imor. And they he loses no out. Idea. This is a problem now. Eternal Fire, this was supposed to be their round, and Nico is even perfectly catching off the rotates, and Tara's quick to the draw Nico at least. Orp. Nico Orp. And now JKS Orp. So lots of Orpers in the server today. Yeah. Nice smoke from Zentara's. Kalix trying to close the gap as well. Time sensitive, one decon, one ram, Zentara <laughs> is peeking around it, could still lose it, should still lose it. Oh, no, no scope from JKS for the win. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's a savage. <laughs> An absolute savage. The double no scope, they're so salty. You can see how awkward of a position yes. that was for him. He's like, well, they're below me, well, they're throwing a lurk smoke. Um, I I'm just going to no scope both of them. Bang, the boomstick, the blunderbuss. Boom. <laughs> What? Um, <laughs> well, this is when you can do no wrong. Yeah. Like, you can see he's fumbling, like, quick s switching, scoping. Yeah, they're <laughs> laughing about it. That's ridiculous. Ramp seems to be the weakness they've identified for these last few on the T side. And again, they get through. I mean, Hooksy's taking some liberties here. So ahead of the pack and will lose his life now. Trade by Monacy. Rotate. Oh, okay. All the orcs are heating up now. Imor. Quick on the draw and ahead of the molly. This is huge. Monacy's posted and disrespect. Imor's aggression. Double kill from the young sniper. Rotation is easy for him to handle. Kalix is burning down. A missed shot now. Monacy oh, should bullet. still have to hit this. One bullet left. And it's perfect. No trouble. Finds himself an upgrade. He's gone for the ace. Yeah, just take it. Feels like he can't miss, then he missed. I was like, oh, all right. Well, you know, happens to the best of us. Cheeky quad kill out of Monacy. Everyone's hitting up those orbs. And of course, Nico, no uh, bad blood after losing out to that duel of Immor handled. Make the round hard for it. Or you can get yourself down the vent, staring at his mini map and loud, but down. Hooksy trying to force rotations. It's a good shot out of Immor. Forces them into even more dire straits. Two and a half players hoping for a reaction. They're hoping that baits out Zantaris. He's been. Very well restrained so far. 25 seconds. Now they start to second guess it. Well played again. It's Santares. Shouldn't have be anything left to say about this. Monacy would like a plant. He's not going to even have a chance at that. But a 1v5 is too much to ask of him. So a fourth is secure. There's a gun round for your turn. There we go. So two gun rounds out of the four rounds they have. Monacy dead. Immor could successful. But that's an exception to the rule. JKS. Finds a quick headshot, he's ready, he's raring to go, and Hunter's just gonna go dry. Perfect timing. As he catches Zantares, nade in hand, staring at the ladder, it's floud with a lot on his plate. Hooksy confirms, one back sight, good adjustment. But the bomb now will be scooped up, no resistance available as Hooksy, ooh, has the vent fight, had the vent fight now. Kalix, oh. good night. Hooksy tucks him in tight. Major, in-game leader. Veteran of the scene. And two to find before that defuse can come through. Simply only a flash to his name. So it does close those doors. But knows the first fight likely to come from those windows. It's Hooksy. Peeks ahead of it. Leaves us at 11 to 4. Not looking good for Eternal Fire. And certainly quite the contrary for G2. Don't go anywhere. Oh, so I should be doing color. Yeah, One Molotov. Sorry. It's all right. It's okay. It's okay. One flat. Oh, okay. Oh, Hunter in the hut. The jewel is in hand. Has found. Yeah, but now it's stopped. No, no, you got it. Um, um, I guess I should do this bit. Yeah. Do I? Uh, they're pushing. They're pushing lobby aggressive. Chad. Monacy here. Action on the USP in the hand. Peeking. Squeaky. Missing shots. Bomb down. Monacy's got one, but more on the plate here. Can he get a second? Yes, he can. X Flound eats the dirt as well. But Madger, he's in the back lines. Undetected. The P250 rings out, and that is 12 to four. Some deagles and even a cheeky Mac 10 for this T side. Let's see if they can. Make a dent in this G2 defense, and it's JKS. You've got to get through him. Perfect. Flattened without any lethality. 
a weapon upgrade and lobby to be challenged. It's Nico tap tapping away and good okay. frag back. It's him or Modesty meets his demise as well. X Flow ready on that deep for the aggression. And now, yeah, G2R oh, gonna be brought down a peg. Convincingly so. What a round out of eternal fire. Uh, that's a couple of missed smokes, yeah. That was two missed smokes. They used two smokes just across red, and they're both bad. Oh dear, and look what the direct ramification is. It's yeah. all gone wrong. Ah, oh, that's gonna leave. They wasted four smokes, basically. Nico has got the chance to just take the whole team down here. He might spam the smoke. You see his crosshair perfectly placed upon the fades, and Tares down and out, and this one does get very uncomfortable for the remaining three. Hooksy just going to tuck into that vent before the fade. X Floud probably the same, and yeah, ships in the night on that one. X Floud has a premonition, a good one as he catches Hooksy asleep at the wheel. Nico, power position, Monacy to support him as well. It's Immor looking the wrong way. A missed shot from Monacy. Nico to try the trade, tickles his pickle down to 49, and now Immor's gone. That's the bomb. And that's a shot to Calix, converted by JKS. For the standard Red Cross, the double to secret, because they used four smokes. So did they use two different mollies to disrupt here, or was this EF not throwing the correct utility, right? That, that's a question. Bolster than a defense. Oh, they're going to fight this. You no can see hesitation Hooksy. from G2. Hooksy's calling for this fight. Timing perfect from Calix. It's just interesting that Hooksy picked first because he's a rotating player, right? They know JKS is the B defender. So the fact that Hooksy's gone down, they might think top's more susceptible, but timing here from Monacy has a chance here to really disrupt this round. Oh, it's all about the timing, and it's only the one. Calix, high impact round from him here. They do still need to access the site, and it is questions of where is weaker. Nico still hasn't moved. I mean, this I believe he's mad. still there. <laughs> That's very unusual. He's been there for about a minute. Yeah, he might catch Antares. If they actually exit, yeah. I'll tell you one thing, he's not clearing that. No way. No way in a million years is Zantara's going to... Oh, clear that one. Yeah, that's and now going to be frustrating. Hunter. And here comes Hunter. Calix again, it's impact all over the shop. Imo has the bomb, has the bomb. Needs to be bodyguarded. Shepherding him across. Oh, no. Nico wins the round oh. on the spray. That's going to leave a mark. Nothing he can do but tut his tongue as JKS lives on. Oh, that's a that's a brutal one. That all went wrong. Uh, <laughs> that all went wrong, didn't it? Yeah, Monacy's just posted to contain the hut as they set that SMG up. And there is a top pop. Monacy still gets it without the vision hoops. He's so blind, covered by that orc with a second. And Monacy, he's hit every shot he takes. It's not far off onto the fourth. JKS trying to slip on through. Yeah. Now he's going to go down as well. Calix in high impact in back to back rounds. It's Nico looking to close. He's been spotted. Guarantee the round if Santaris lets that shot go. And he has. Oh, the time. One on one. On the oh. face. He's looking the right way, but it's Calix to close. A triple. And a big round to win for Eternal Fire. Move right there. Now, this was great from Calix, and you see JKS, as soon as he gets spotted by the hut player, he's dead, right? He's 100% dead. There's too much for him to worry about in that scenario. He, Calix does a great job here of closing this one down. And now, well, he's in a transition back across the yard. If they come close to him, he's happy to take that fight. There's the info. Oh, there's oh, the kill! Oh, beautiful. There's the bomb. <laughs> the stabilization. So he had all the time in the world for that headshot. And now G2 on. Oh, God, running Hello. down the Orpa. Calix not going to be happy as he donates the signature weapon to Monacy. Up to Major now and x -Floud. 20 seconds. JKS could catch the gap. A little bit of a spray tag. Major on the site does deliver. He didn't need to do that. He could have waited for his teammates. He was just trying to see if he could isolate the plant, but it was back of sight. So now it's a two on two. Unnecessary. This flash is useless. Oof, I mean, it's not no. useless. It's just not worth it to give away the position of the second player. It's like because the other two came screaming up secret, so all the info was handed over in that moment. Safe from the monastery clear. Oh, an X Floud, yeah. 
Monaseek didn't have a chance, and neither does Hooksy. These headshots come in and thick and thin. Everyone wins. I can't believe okay. he just walked out of that. They're, they're, door. they're under the pump right now, right? I understand that like the tone of this game is, yeah, G2 are going to win. They're going to get it across the line. Sure, with the, four, the scoreline at 14 to, well, 7, right? What we had not that long ago. We're about to be at 14 to 11. JKS is going to lose this rifle. Four players staying alive. G2 have played this map 14 times since Hooksy's joined. They've never lost it move in a fake smoke hoping to exploit a wide peek into the orb it's a gimmick honestly might give it to him or oh, oh, just clears him perfectly hunter trapped and executed it looks like eternal fire could be set to just a one round deficit after this they interesting bait this. and switch yeah my magic down trade not with the bomb not with the bomb calyx holds his nerve and his spray but not ready for nico as two mowed down into a one-on-one -on -one. it's up to x flower and hooks he can he be the hero to put 15 on the board for g2 he has no idea time sensitive mission on this retake how thorough will he clear okay <laughs> that's enough Hooksy clutches up the Giga Chad. <sighs> well, that's his only his ninth kill, but that's an impactful one. There's 15. Throw that on the board because things were getting sweaty. As Monacy, with only a rifle, gonna put his head in the vice. Imor obliges. 22 frags and counting for the Turkish Orpa. And things will get hot and spicy now as this could be a flawless T round. They just keep walking into the crosshairs of Eternal Fire in these mid rounds after they get the picks. Every aggressive maneuver is expected because you know, right, the type of Counter-Strike we're talking about is proactive CS. Yes. Well, G2, after giving up a player, are trying to do that, but it, it's so... If Eternal Fire win this, they'll be the first team to take this roster of G2 to overtime on Nuke. Ever. But Monacy decides it may not be the day. Not today. Calix, however, with one right back. Hunter on the hut, known. And now towards JKS they go. It's only one from the Aussie, still living, heart beating. His ex Flower needs to get away from Nico and that spray problems as he gives it up. Let's him descend. Immor and X Flower, a little bit of space to move. Has Nahali to fight. Has Hunter forced into it, good for it. And now X Flower with it all to do to try and do what no one's done before. Otherwise, G2 with sweat on their brow will convert in regulation. What a game. Made some sweaty Counter-Strike right there. This one Ooh. definitely delivered. That is 15 in a row on Nuke right now for G2. Now, sure, a couple of those online will make it 12 as far as LAN is concerned. But they were made to work for this, right? They couldn't get this one so quick. They had to work for this.